Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. In JavaScript, try to understand this. You can write a some common function in JavaScript for the login functionality. So that you can use that login uh, no function in all these 10 test cases. Okay. If we want to use that function, the syntax is we have to mention rollup. Okay. However, you know, once you write that JavaScript, again the JavaScript file have to be imported from the options. Once that is imported, you have to click on reload. In that case, that function is available. Okay, that function is available here. But if you want to use that function, if you want to use that function here, okay, you have to mention rollup here. See here. I'm mentioning rollup here. I'm trying to mention something at here. It will, it is going to throw in some error here. See here. It means basically. First, I have to define a function. Then, uh, no, the function definition. Uh, no, while defining the function definition in JavaScript, you know, we have to mention this editor dot roll uh, rollup manager. Okay, so that have to be done. Here we have not done. Okay, so that is the reason it is not allowing. Okay, so once we we have performed that uh, JavaScript, once we create our own function there, and you know, that function can be used here in target. With this rollup help, okay. That is the meaning of rollup here, okay. So while well, if you have rollup command any anything here, while executing the rollup, that rollup will be shown here. It's generally I can say reusable steps will be mentioned in a function. That function name will be used in Selenium IDE using the rollup command. Okay. The same thing for this option. Rollup apply rollup rules. Okay. Once you write this, you know this will be enabled. If you click on that, I know it will basically saves with this format. Okay, this rollup will uh, will be it will show the log some kind of log while executing. Okay, now coming to UI element. Yeah. I know we are talking about this scenario, right? Where is this? Let me go to the ID commands. I was talking about this scenario. Yeah. I know enter username, enter password, click on sign in. So we knew that if you want to access username text field, we, we know that we have to use locator for username. Similarly, locator for password, locator for sign in. Okay, so in UI element, it is a concept. In UI element, it is one of the kind of concept. Okay, on the locators for your scenario will be saved in a file. Okay, here we will take a file of type JSON. Okay. It's again there's some part of uh, JavaScript uh, one is means something is there okay we will uh, create a file of type JSON okay in this file we will we will uh, know create variables observe here we'll create variables 
with locators. It means this locator's information, this username locator, this password locator, sign in locator, this information will be saved in three different variables here. In this case, for this example, these three locators information will be saved in three variables here. Okay. So this uh, once this variables is defined in this file, okay, we will we will import this file into our uh, what we call uh, uh, Selenium IDE. Once we import that, then instead of mentioning this locator here, see here, we were previously mentioning link equal to personal load. Say, you know, we are approaching, we are using UI element concept here. Okay, this link personal load, you can have this particular thing in your, uh, this file. Okay, so instead of, in this case, what you can do here, instead of using link personal load, you can simply say that, Whatever the variable name that you have given in your uh, UAL uh, that file, say you have mentioned uh, PL interest, something like this. So you, you have mentioned a variable name like this, so that you can mention PL interest here. So instead of again you mentioning uh, this link equal to personal loan interest, okay, it will work with this. But I know this is as I said. Now the same kind of approach will be used in our uh, framework that is we are going to discuss in our uh, Selenium WebDriver framework. Okay. But I uh, know just they have given this kind of provision. Okay. Don't worry. This we will not use in reality. Okay. Again this approach is all a bit difficult approach to use. Okay. This is about UI element means in simple words for all your locators they will give you variable names. That variable name used here. That's it. Now uh, we were talking about the options and web driver. See here, enable web driver playback. I'm clicking OK here, which is nothing but the set of commands that we have mentioned here. Okay, we can directly execute these commands instead of instead of this browser. When you click this play button, these are the things executing here itself, right? Okay, it is going to throw an error, of course. Yeah. So these are the commands which are getting uh, you know. Uh, perform on this particular browser itself, but when you enable this option, web driver, okay, this the, uh, you know this uh, same script will be executed in from uh, you know in web driver framework. I mean, in, it is going to execute in web driver in separate browser. But however, the prerequisite is we have to run uh, you know Selenium server here. Can you see this? Let me clear this. Let me click on this, uh, where is the stop button, it's here, yeah, I am running this, let me clear it, observe here, I am clicking on this button, no, 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 let me, did not stop, there is no stop button here, one minute, let me close. Yeah. Selenium ID. Now let me open the recent disk case. If you observe here in options, options, the driver, this particular option is enabled. So there is a reason if I click play button, it will not execute over here. Okay. Let it get stabilized, then we will execute this. It is getting weak to something. Uh, let us open at google.com. Yeah. See, so I am clicking on this button. Yeah, you can agree here, could not connect to Selenium server. Okay, the option that I was mentioning here. So, the driver. Basically, this option will be used. Now, the, your, your commands directly will be executed on a, uh, executed using web driver logic. But the thing is, but the thing is, you have to start something called Selenium server. If you remember, 
I know while explaining Selenium RC, Selenium Remote Control, I said there should be some Selenium server, which is a which is a background process that we have to run. Okay, so the scene server we have to run from command prompt. Then only these commands will be executed. Okay, just this is a provision. If you look into here itself, it it is it is mentioning here. Okay, may not be very stable. Okay, it is a just a provision. You can execute the same set of commands from using web driver. Actually, here when you click this play button, actually it is executing Selenium IDE. Uh, you know uh, what we can say executor. It is using Selenium IDE executor to execute these commands. But if you use that option, you know it is not going to use Selenium IDE executor. It is going to use web driver executor to execute these commands. The basic difference is that. Any questions? Any questions so far here? Yeah. Akila is asking Selenium ID cannot be used to record. Yes, Akila. Akina, uh, Akila, this Selenium ID is only for uh, Firefox. It's only Firefox plugin. Yeah, Bala, are you, talk, are you talking about the uh, you know video recordings? Yeah. Any other questions from anyone? Uh, roll up. Uh, actually, you know, here itself, actually, we have you know, some help file. In help itself, we can find that uh, you know, roll up. I found some somewhere that. But uh, what you can say, it's all uh, a bit complicated. I uh, know. I don't want to make it mess up here. And uh, because the reason is, I know we will not use in reality. Okay, we will not use UI element roll up. Generally, as I said, you know, whenever a, when you, you know, when you send for a project, generally the Selenium IDE will be used for exploratory testing. Exploratory testing means, you no, know, you will click here, you will click here, and you know, once you click here, maybe you will again click something here. So it will be like some navigation. That's it. Okay, you don't have any complicated test that you will create from Selenium IDE. If you want to create any complicated test, you will create it from web driver. Okay. Yeah, any other questions here? Uh, uh, yes, Bala, I will look into that. Okay. Bala, as I said, Selenium IDE is only for Firefox. Okay. I did not say about uh, Chrome. Okay, I said uh, no. Selenium web driver can be used for all these browsers: Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, and all. At that time, you can ask this question. Yeah, definitely no. I will look into that your email. Okay, any other questions from here? Uh, any from anyone? Any questions here? See, yes or no. Okay, great. Okay, uh, in our next class, we will start with uh, Selenium uh, web driver. Okay, we are done with Selenium, uh, uh, what we call IDE. In our next class, we will start with Selenium web driver. I know in our next class, I will explain how to set up Selenium web driver, which is very, very, very important because I know installing Selenium uh, web driver is a bit difficult. You know, in our class, it will be easy to understand. If you try to install, say, uh, you know, we are a bit, uh, you know, some things. Say, if you want to install QTP, it will be easy to install. You just browse. Uh, you need to download QTP, and you need to click next, next, next. But whereas Selenium uh, setting up Selenium web driver, it's a bit difficult. Okay, don't miss next class. It is very important. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information 
on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.